The European Commission is taking a hard line against the government of Viktor Orban, insisting on a massive cut of 20% to its EU funds over the next seven years, equal to 7.5 billion euros. Brussels thinks that the 17 measures proposed by Hungary to tackle corruption are insufficient and Budapest must do more if the money to be and released. And the European Parliament agrees. On Thursday, MEPs adopted a resolution asking the EU to not to release more. funds until there are real changes on the ground. Well, they have made lots of promises and yes, they have changed some laws, but we want to see that these changes actually work. We want to see that there is no more corruption in Hungary. We want to see that the rule of law is, is functioning. And yes, there are some signals in the right direction from the Hungarian government, but our assessment in the parliament is that we are very far from having the 17 measures uh, fully implemented. Viktor Orban's government has been criticized for democratic backsliding and systemic corruption for years now. As a result, the EU triggered the so-called rule of law mechanism against Hungary this year, the first time it's ever been used. This legal tool enables Brussels to suspend European funds. Hungary said with a series of new anti-corruption measures and with the overall of public tendering, they have met the European Commission's demands. And the Hungarian Minister for EU Funds says Budapest will not lose a single cent. What is important for us is that they talk about suspension. They are not taking away this money from us. In light of us delivering on our commitments, we could have the funds. When we made our commitments, we also presented a timeline about how we deliver. This was approved by the Commission, and they know very well that for this deadline on the 24th of November, we cannot deliver on everything. Nem tudunk minden teljesíteni. The Hungarian economy is struggling and is relying heavily on EU funds. The EU member states will now decide on any punitive measures against Hungary in early December. Sándor Zsíros, Euronews, Brussels.